guys, it's time for my Ipsy vs. Birchbox or Birchbox vs. Ipsy January 2017. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure and subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below this video so that you could be first to know about all of my beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos. And if you are already subscribed, welcome back. I'm so happy you're here. So once again, I'm doing Birchbox vs. Ipsy or Ipsy vs. Birchbox rather than opening them separately in separate videos. I think that's so much more fun. So I will start with my Ipsy bag. So I have not opened this yet, so I'm opening this right in front of you all and I'm so excited. Now while I love the holidays, ugh, and I'm making noise with my bag, but oh, okay. Now I love the holidays, but I also love when that calm of January comes because you could just start anew, start afresh, and so it's really nice. So, ooh, look how pretty this is. Okay, this is a really pretty bag. Yeah, it's like a blue and silvery blue with silver inside the mesh, like silver lining. And oh, I love it. Their bags are getting prettier and prettier. I love this bag. This bag was inspired by skyscrapers. It's perfect uptown, downtown, and I just think it is awesome. Now the card says that the theme is Metropolis and it says you are now entering Metropolis. We run this town. Head to ipsy.com slash glam bag right now to join us as we hit the big city streets. You've got to check this out. And then on their website, they have a lot of things related to this month's Ipsy bag. They've got um, beauty tutorials, information on what's in the glam bag, and then videos kind of tutorials on how to use everything. That is awesome. So I'm going to open this to see what is in my bag. So I've got this Mana, let's see, it's in a bubble wrap, and it is a blush. This is, uh, I'll open the blush. And you know, I haven't eaten lunch yet, and I'm hungry, but I wanna finish my video first. Tell me what you guys do. If, if any of you who do YouTube videos, do you like wait to eat until after you finish your videos or do you eat before you do your videos? I like to wait, but sometimes I can't. I can't open the blush, okay. Okay, so this is a blush. This is Mana Condar Cosmetics Paradise Blush. So this is a warm pink with apricot blush and ooh, it feels very soft and I will swatch it for you, but I'm just swatching it on my hand right now. If you could see that, I will show you a cl more close-up swatch, but this is really pretty. It's kind of along the lines of blushes that I like. Pinky, warm, apricot. I love blushes like this. So I am really excited to try this blush. I think it's a really pretty color. I've never tried Manacandar. Manacandar? Manacondar? Not sure how you pronounce it, but I am really excited to try this. Okay, and then next is, oh, a lip scrub. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay, a lip scrub. You know why? Because it's winter time right now, and ever, like, for the past few weeks, my lips have been so dry. I have just been pouring, pouring on, piling on the lip balm, and my lips have just been dry and flaky and just not feeling very great. So, oh, I'm so excited. This is a lip scrub and I can't open it. So I got the plastic off and this is a Jelly Pong Pong Coffee and Coconut Lip Scrub. Mmm, it smells like, it smells like pina colada coffee. Yum! Okay, and then you put it on your lips. I'm just putting it on my hand right now, but yeah, it's just, it feels like a sugar scrub or something like that. And yeah, the shea butter and sugar scrub. And oh, this will be wonderful, wonderful for winter lips. I am so excited to try this, yay! So what else is in my bag? Oh, yay, lip gloss. This is Trust Fun Beauty Lip Gloss in, let's see, the color is called Blame Game. Okay, I don't have a color like this, not really. I mean, I have a bunch of lip glosses, but not really a color like this. So here, let me get the plastic off. All of my things have all this plastic on it this time, but that's okay because I would much rather it have plastic on it and not have it leak, so that is good. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, this is a rosy color. So this is really pretty. I've never tried Trust Fun Beauty before, but let's see. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, it's a gloss, so it is, and I'm showing you a little swatch, I'll show you a little bit closer, but apparently this is buildable color, and this one is in kind of a rosy color, and I need a few more rosy colors, so this is really good. So I'm so excited to try this one. And next I have, what's this? Oh, nail polish, yay! Because you know me, I love my nail polish. So let's see, this is, 
Pretty Woman Nail Polish in a color called I'm Not a Ballerina. So let's see what does this color look like. Ooh, oh, this is pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, this is a pretty pale pink, and you know I love my pale pink nail polish. I'm wearing a different pale pink right now, but you can never have too many pale pink nail polishes. I am so looking forward to trying this one. So I don't know whether it's a sheer or if it's an opaque. Gosh, I love these colors that they're giving me this time. Ipsy Bag is doing a very good job. And I've never tried Pretty Woman, let's see. Oh, this is cool. So Pretty Woman is one of those lines that is five free. Cruelty free, paraben free, sulfate free. Yep, all these bad things free. Yay, okay, I'm so excited to try that. And this is, this is the last thing in my Ipsy bag. And this is a pigment. This is Naked Cosmetics, whoops. This is, it, this had plastic on it too. This is Naked Cosmetics Mica Pigment and the color is called Desert Sunset. Okay, I've never used a pigment before. So I'm going to have to play before I try it. But yeah, I, and I'm being really careful because I don't want it to get all over the place. I love the color though. Oh my gosh, this color is pretty. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just dip my finger in it and swatch it a little bit. Oh wow, that is pretty. <gasps> okay, I'm going to swatch that for you as well. Oh, that's a really pretty pigment. I've never used a pigment, so I'm going to play with it and try it, but oh my gosh, I love this. So, so far, Ipsy is doing a good job this time. I usually like what I get in my Ipsy bag, but I am loving what's in my Ipsy bag this time. Love it, I've gotten, it was all makeup this time. Wow, that's really cool. Sometimes you get a little skincare, sometimes you get a little makeup, but this time it was all makeup and all colors that I love. So let's see, oh wait, no, not all makeup. I got the lip scrub, but still, I needed the lip scrubs. How did they know? Okay, now for my Birch box. Opening this up too. Okay, what a cute birch box. This is all about New Year's in January and getting in shape for the New Year. It's very cute. It's got this cute little drawing on it and the bottom of the box is yellow. It says, Hello 2017. So the theme of this box is New Year, it says so on the card. It says, New Year, New Perspective. This month is all about making little changes, embracing the things you love and products that make you feel like the greatest version of your already great self. So yay. Okay, so this is the theme and let's see what I've got in here. Okay, first thing is, oh, a shave cream. This is Wish Shave Cream and Wish is spelled W-H-I-S-H, -H, like Wish. So let's see, this is Wish Shave Crave Shaving Cream in Lavender. So yay, okay, I use a shaving cream in the shower when I shave my legs. It's got a lavender scent, that's very nice. So very excited to try this one. Okay, and then I got a set, a little set of shampoo and conditioner from R & Company. So this is R & Company Oblivion Clarifying Shampoo and restorative gel conditioner. And the conditioner is a bonus. Okay, so this is really good. A clarifying shampoo is great because you get buildup from the products that you use and it's good maybe once a week, every other week, depending on how often you wash your hair, to use a clarifying shampoo. So very excited to try these. Always open to trying new hair products. And Birchbox has been really good with sending me really good hair products to try. I also got a serum. Look how cute this is. This is a little little sample of a serum. This is from a company called Odacite. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is Supercharger Skin Routine. Um, let's see, the B, B, I plus C, the pimple remedy. Hmm. This is Black Cumin and Kajaput, Kajaput, Kajaput Serum. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Probably totally butchered it, but that's what it is. And this is to control breakouts. So that's great. We all get the occasional breakout. So very curious about this product. I got a brow definer. This is a brow pencil from a company called Brow Bar. You know, unfortunately, in my birch box this time, everything is a little bit sticky. Something leaked a little bit, I think. Not terribly, but it's a little sticky. So I know my Ipsy had a lot of plastic around it. I wonder if birch box needs to do that. Mm -hmm. And I got another hair product. This is from Oblifica Professional. This is a Seaberry Serum for medium to coarse hair. This is for, okay, it revives damaged colored hair. So this will be good. Um, oh, it was open a little bit. Maybe this is the culprit, but yeah, cause my hands are feeling a little sticky, but let's see. 
Oh, this smells really nice. Yay. Okay, I'm excited to try this. So you just put a little bit, a couple drops in your hand and then work it through your hair after the shower, after through your wet hair and then style as usual. You know, this is just a nice serum, repairs the hair. So real excited to try it, especially after smelling it. It smells really good. So, okay, so that is my Birchbox and my Ipsy. You know, I am really excited about both. I got all makeup products except a lip scrub in my Ipsy bag. And then in my Birchbox, I got a couple of hair products, a skincare product, a brow pencil, and a shave cream. So I, gosh, I really like them both. I will say though, I think the winner this month is Ipsy because I am so super excited to try the different colors and lip scrub in my Ipsy bag. And with Birchbox, I've got to say something leaked a little bit and everything was a little bit sticky. So, um, you know, not a deal breaker because it's not like anything is damaged. It was just a little bit sticky. But yeah, I hope that the next box isn't sticky like that. So let me know in the comments section what you got in either your Ipsy bag or Birch box, or if you got both, let me know what you liked better this month. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel by either clicking here or the subscribe button below this video so that you could be first to know about all of my beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos. And have you seen this video here? If not, why don't you give it a click and check it out. See you all next time. Bye!